before I start this video, I just want to say thank you guys so much for your support and everything. And yeah, this is not really a sponsored video, but uh, I would like to promote Chris A. Bye. Um, because it has wonderful, wonderful background noise. Now, you know, I'm literally recording in a place where I'm in the living room where there's a lot of noise going on in the background. But for Chris A. Bye, it's easy to you know, uh, um, eliminate background noise so I can make higher quality uh, videos like this. Um, yeah, and if you guys uh, click on this referral link, you will get basically two months of uh, free pro. I mean, I mean, one month of free pro to anyone that wants to pick uh, Chris AI. So, I mean, this is a really great service. Um, can literally, you know, like not pay and just do it for free. So, yes, sir. uh, I hope you guys will enjoy the video. And that, let's get started. Hello everyone, this is Game Cross. In today's video, I'm going to review the Dell Inspiron 3880. This computer, which was recently released by Dell in quarter 3 of 2020, is actually pretty good for a $400 system. The computer is built like an MATX kind of chassis with a custom motherboard. The design is pretty good and sleek in my opinion, and it sits well below my desk. On the front of the computer, it has enough I.O. ports, such as a micro SD card reader, one headphone jack, two USB 2 ports, two USB 3 ports, and one good looking power button. On the back of the computer, we have a lot more parts. This includes, I mean ports. This includes one audio jack, one HDMI port, one VGA port, not gonna lie, I can't believe they still include VGA, two USB 3 ports, two USB 2 ports, and one Ethernet port. Inside the computer, we have the following, custom made demo that has a B460 chipset 10100, in which its base clock speed reached 3.6 GHz and turbos up to 4.3, two M.2 slots, in which a wireless card is using one, one DVD drive, a 200 watt bronze TFX PSU, one PCIe times one slot, one PCIe times 16 slot, and two DDR4 RAM slot, one six pin power slot for the motherboard power, one four pin power socket for the CD card. That is a lot. It also comes with a one terabyte Seagate hard drive and a Dell keyboard and mouse. So, what makes this computer special to me is the fact that it's power efficient. When I added my GTX 650 video card on it, there was no power spikes or frame drops and shutdowns. Now, since this motherboard only supports up to 65 watt CPUs, the max I can upgrade on the B460 board is an Intel Core i7-10700. The only disadvantage is the lack of upgradability because of the custom-made PSU that has a TFX form factor. It's hard to find a good fit from a higher wattage PSU. Not only that, but I have to buy a 24-pin to 6-pin adapter to carry power from the PSU to the motherboard. So, the fastest GPU I can buy is the GTX 1650 as it requires no additional power, since it uses 75 watt from the PCI slot. Also, regarding the RAM slots, there are only two of them. Currently, I'm running on an 8 gig single channel. The only speeds it accepts up to 2666, 20, basically. And that's what I'm running so far. The speed of the memory doesn't matter for my system at all since I'm using a Core i3 CP. CP can only accept speeds up to 2666 MHz, and that's what I'm running so far. Now, I did add a 256GB SSD as my boot drive, but when I boot, first booted up my system, I had to migrate my vendor from the HDD to my SSD before I can do anything else. When installing a graphic card, it's easier to pop out a PCIe bracket using either your hands, not recommended, or using a screwdriver. Just make sure you are not pressing it too hard. CPU cooler is very quiet and cool. It features a shroud that is connected with the back of the computer to either push air out or pull it in. I don't know this because I haven't taken out the shroud yet. Yeah, yeah, don't mind the graphics card man, okay? It had a rough time, so don't ask. Thanks to the PSU power efficiency, I managed to overclock my GPU with a higher voltage, and nothing really happened. At first glance, you are greeted with the Windows setup screen, and you basically install Windows 10 Home from there. 
afterwards he will have software like the dreaded antivirus McAfee and cool software like the Dell support assistant. On the BIOS side, basically the system is all UEFI, so that's a good start. The BIOS have a lot of options to configure, like the CPU configuration, SATA options, startup options, etc. It's all there to use. Currently, at the time of recording this, there are no new BIOS updates. Thanks to the one terabyte hard drive, I was able to download a bunch of games in which I will show benchmark benchmarks in a future video. Speaking of benchmarks, I have I have made some screenshots from the benchmark programs like Sign Benchmark 15, Sign Benchmark 20, CPUC, and Passmark. The CPU scores are quite decent for a mid-range rig like this. Now on to the conclusion. Should I recommend the system to everyone? Probably not. The reason is that with a $400, $400, you can build a better system than the Dell Inspiron 3880. Even CPUs like the Ryzen 3 3300X is slightly better than the Core i3 10100. But for people that just need to buy an OEM system to do basic work or web browsing or even like gaming, this is the machine for you. Thank you guys so much for watching this short review video. If you guys liked it, please leave a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, consider subscribing and clicking the notification icon to never miss a future video. You can also check out my Discord, so link is down in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.